A tiny turtle in trouble next. Cape Cast. This is a Diamondback Terrapin. She came from uh, Lieutenant Island uh, in Wellfleet, and um, we think that she emerged from brumation early, like the state of torpor that all turtles um, are in over the winter, and uh, possibly crawled out, and then the temperature might have dropped, um, leaving her exposed and vulnerable in a, um, an environment that was too cold. It's kind of like uh, the flowers in your garden. Um, if it's warm enough, they're going to start, you know, um, acting like it's spring. And potentially, you know, since it is February, uh, there is potential that the temperature could drop back down at any given time and drop so quickly that everything, you know, that is starting to emerge for the spring, including turtles, could be frozen. Wait a second. So this <laughs> warm winter means baby turtles, little turtles might be saying, okay, I'm coming out of my, we'll call it hibernation yes. sort of scenario. I get out, I'm wiggling around, wait a second, it's February, I need food, and oh no, the temperature's dropping again. Oh dear, help, like exactly. that? Exactly, exactly right, yes. <laughs> so what could this lead to? What do you do in a situation like this? Well, we've been in touch with the Wellfleet Audubon and Bob Prescott, um, trying to determine the best uh, procedure to, to take with the, especially a threatened species like the diamondback terrapin. Um, our plan is tentatively to wait until it's, um, the temperature is a little bit warmer and we're possibly going to uh, put the turtle back into a state of torpor and bury it um, so that when spring really hits, uh, she can come out at her leisure. Um, alternatively, we could also keep her here until we know that the uh, temperature isn't going to drop below freezing. How would you go about sort of cooling down a turtle and getting it back to that sleep state? Very, very, very slowly. This is the warmest room in the house, so we would move her to a cooler room um, and then to our reception room, which doesn't have any heat, and then outside. Um, possibly for a night or two just to make sure that she's, you know, in a state of torpor. Um, and then we would hand her over to Mr. Prescott to bury. Cape Cast. Don't forget Wild Care's Wild Winter Night taking place Saturday, March 10th, 2012 at the Chatham VFW. All sorts of good stuff. Find out more at www.wildcarecapecod.org.